Today we're going to cover a competitor back feed that back feeds into our system and ends up causing error corrections on our upstreams. Um, so we have a competitor called CenturyLink who's a telephone company who uses uh, coax to do whole home DVR features inside the home. Um, but if the cabling system for the cable company is still hooked up, it'll back feed uh, the communication into the upstream and cause a bunch of said forward error corrections. So here's what a, a normal lake looks like. You can see the uh, separation of every upstream carrier across there. And you notice that there's a little V-notch that separates each one. And so here we have 36, 29, 23, a little skinny 18 megahertz, and then a 14 megahertz carrier. So if we plug into the other leg that actually has uh, the back feeding on it, here's what happens. So this whole tower comes up and fills this in, hiding a lot of these other carriers. So all this noise going through is covering up our modems communications, uh, affecting telephone service, internet service, on any of those frequencies across there. So the customers are having a lot of troubles with their services. So there you have it. All right, here we own an amplifier on the non-amplified return ports that we're able to test without opening the amplifier. We've identified that one of the legs definitely has the noise and we've installed an eye stop on the seizure assembly. And when there's a button on the eye stop, when you push it, the noise should drop down. And the meter went crazy. All right, so push it again. And the noise drops down, let go of the button, and it comes back up. So that's how we know it's down this run. Alright, we got three potential customers here. We've tracked it down to this uh, end of line tap, so I'm plugged in using an eye stop. And as you can see, it is still live and active. So I'm going to disconnect one of the customers here and see what happens. Disconnected one customer, and the noise is gone, and our modems are back to communicating normally. So I'm going to hook up to the customer's drop that's back feeding the CenturyLink service. And you can see there's one big carrier in there causing uh, noise. This is uh, overlapping exactly in the area where most of our upstream is at. So this is what's causing tons of uh, errors on our upstream and causing phone and data issues with all of our customers, literally in the whole node. 